Have you ever opened the door to the flex on the passenger side? Only to realize that as soon as you get in, you have water. <sighs> Roll the intro. All right, so before we get started, we're gonna use the shop manual to see how we have to remove those two wiper arms. And based on what I've lightly looked at, the nut for the wiper arm that holds the pivot arm to the actual rod is a 15 millimeter. You're gonna need a screwdriver to pop out the little retaining clips. I have one right here in the book and some needle nose pliers. And I also have this tie rod end removal tool just in case I could use this to pivot the uh, wiper arm off of the pole that it sits on. Per the shop manual, where this blue screwdriver sits at, because you can need one of these to pull the uh, nut cap off of the wiper. Here, it just says to remove the wiper pivot arm and the nut cover. That's where the small screwdriver would come in handy. This little guy. And then it says a two jaw pull may be necessary. Remove the nut and the pivot arm. And then you install 18 foot pounds, which is not a lot. Um, well, that doesn't give us much information. Hmm. And then uh, down here, it gives me a section of 50102 to remove the actual cowl. So in this big ass manual that I got, we have our cowl removal instructions on the previous page. They're right here. This is that little clip I was talking about. This is what holds in the two pieces of the cowl together. Here it just says remove the pivot arms and remove the six panel or cowl panel grill pin type retainers. These guys. Pull upward to release the rear clips and remove the upper cowl panel to remove the lower cowl trim panel. I believe there's two sections of it. It'd be nice if I had a picture, but they really don't, do they? Uh, pull outward to release the lower cowl panel and then pull upward to release pull outward and then upward all right well enough of dealing with this manual let's get over there and see if we can get this done okay so here we are on the driver's side so we take our small screwdriver here we go between the cap and the wiper arm wedge it in there and you pull up and then the cap comes up. This is a 15 millimeter uh, nut. You just unscrew it. Oops, don't lose your nuts. And then you can use this tie rod end remover. It slides over very easily. And then it pulls up. And then it just lifts the arm off. Oh. and the arm come up. It's probably also easier if you pull the uh, pivot the wiper armor. The, it's probably also easier if you pivot the wiper arm up. If you have it down, there's gonna be a lot of tension right here pushing down, which will create tension. All right, here we are on the passenger side. I would also recommend getting yourself a platform so that you can reach across your hood like this. So we're going to pull this little guy out. And then we need our 15 millimeter nut socket. Hey. Now, I only have half inch sockets. So if you got something smaller than what I got, I would suggest using it. And also be careful, don't hit your windshield. We're gonna pull this up. Let me get easy to remove this. Just take the tension off of it. There we go, one nut off. Is this gonna pop off? Nope. So we're gonna use this little tool. Right to here. And I can't slide it any other way to get you guys to see what I'm really doing. 
but it slides over and then you put this black screw on the stud. Hey. Why are you not seeing the way I want you to see? There we go. And then we just remove it. Well, try to remove it anyway. Let's see. There we go. Oh, 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 oh. This is when you have two bigger tools. And it pops off. Now, oops. I'm gonna clean this corrosion out of here. So I'm probably gonna clean these up, put a reassemble this, put some anises on there, and hopefully I don't have to do this again. Now we can remove under the hood, we can pop the hood, and we can start. Now we're under the hood. If you hear a lawnmower in the background, my neighbor's mowing the lawn. We're under the hood, we have to remove these clips. If you look over here on the left, there's two missing. And that's because at some point in my Flex's beloved life, I've had it for eight years, this hose that's right here, well, it broke inside here. And I tried to go to Ford to get a new one, and I had to buy a whole new cow. And I said they can keep the whole new cow. So I went to AutoZone and fabricated the, uh, a way to connect the pipe inside here. So that's why these two are missing. But this, we have to disconnect anyway. So we pull this, this just comes straight out, like so. And then we go underneath here, where these clips are, pull straight up. Well, it should pull up. Why is this not pulling up? Does this? Oh, I don't think it's supposed to break like that though. So if your flex is as old as mine, I recommend being careful that you don't break your clips. Because I'm not sure if these can actually be replaced by Ford or not. Uh oh, the neighbor left their dog out, so now he's gonna become a vocal person, a vocal dog now. Why is this not working? So, now we do. I switch screwdrivers to a small one. Let's see if this will actually work and I can get underneath here. Like that. That works. And then these should pop up. Hey, I didn't break that one. Oh, that didn't pull it all the way out. So, if yours pulled all the way out like mine did, you should be able to just line it up like that and push them back in. And then just push it back in. So it looks just like this. And then we got somebody had this apart before. Well, Ford did replace my engine at one point. What, 2005, so that's five years ago they did it. And you have to remove this cowl because over there is where the uh, ECU sits, I do believe. And it was. Oh. All right. We just pull up this way. Oh, well, that was easy. Oh, there's something over here on the side. Oh, okay. Well, what's it say? Pull up to release the rear clips and remove the upper cowl grill. Wow. Pull up and pull. Well, this directions don't really seem very good. Is there something over here? No. You ever wonder who writes these instructions? You ever wonder if they actually follow those instructions? Pull up. I don't want to pull up and break it. I don't want to move. Ooh. Something moved. It got more loose. Ouch. Oh, is there something underneath there? There is, there's clips, I thought. What am I missing? Ouch. Oh, okay. So it looks like over here on the side, left and right, to these, oh, well, those had to come up. Oh. Let me show you what I was doing over here. Enhance. Oh, that's pretty good enhancement. Okay. Um, there's a retainer clip right here. You gotta pull up and away, and there's one right here where my fingers at. I'm not sure if you can see it. That pulls up and away. But that still doesn't really release. Ooh. Oh, okay. Now let's see if I can do the other, the other thing. The same thing on the other side. Right here in this corner. 
Oh. Well, would you look at that? The cow is still fighting me. Listen here. Listen. Listen, Linda. What am I missing? Holy crud. Holy heck. You know, you would think why I have that off, I'd probably want to like respray paint it or do back to black. That might be the idea. Okay. And this is the lower cow, which is in two units. And I think Ford's been in here because as I stated, they replaced my engine. And right here is where your engine ECU sits. And I believe over here, we're well, not really gonna be able to see it. But on the driver's side and on the passenger side, where my finger's at, there's supposed to be metal clips. Oh, hell. Metal clips that you pull out, but this doesn't have it. Looks like the dealer forgot to do their job correctly. Anybody else surprised? Okay, so which one comes out first? This one? Yeah, this one's under that one. So this one comes up and we pull upward to release the lower cowl panel grill pin type, pin type retainers. So we just gotta pull up. Okay, so, oh, well that was simple. So there's the retainer that we gotta pull up on. So we just pull the put retainer up. Look at that. And we have the lower cow removed on that side. Let's go over here on this side. Do the same thing. So you see a bulge right here? That's where the clip's gonna be. Oh, well that was simple. Right here is the passenger side. So here's your ECU on the right. This is your air intake. Do you see that reflection down there? Wow. Now, in case you're wondering, right here's the driver's side. There's a lot of water down there. This vehicle is 10 years old and I've never done this. So this is probably when you want to shop vac. You can shop vac all this out and clean it all out. With the suction complete, in case you're wondering, that was the amount of water that I'd sucked out. All right, so here we are on the passenger side and right here is this rubber grommet. That's what's clogged. So we're gonna try to unclog that with the screwdriver. I don't really know if I got it or not. So to make sure we have it completely cleared, we got a little bit of hard loose. Now be careful because you are putting water, I'm using water, but you wanna be careful if you do this because remember, your air intake right over there. So you don't wanna go in here hot wall and splash. But, it should be draining just like that. And that, will stop the thing from flooding. And in case you're wondering where the hell that drains to, if you look down there, you see where the water's gushing out? That's where the grommet's at. So, right here, uh, we're here on the driver's side, and right here's the screwdriver, right here's the grommet. Pull the screwdriver down, and you'll see where we're at. And we just kind of like, particularly, carefully if you're moving this, these might be brittle. You really don't want to break this quiet harness. I'm just saying. Ooh, that one's really dirty. Let me turn some water on so we can rinse this hole out. Working in tight spaces is not my forte. I done smashed my head on this hood I don't know how many times already. Ooh. There we go. And in case you're wondering where this guy comes out at, you'd have to look way, well, see where the water's gushing out. That's, that's where this cow drains. This side goes on first, and then this side goes. Now we put our cow piece back on. Like so. It's gonna fight me now. Okay, so then we just put this guy back on the way we took it off. Go on the sides and snap in there. Working around the hood is really annoying, let me tell you. Don't forget to put your snaps back in.
necklace. That doesn't even have one. Hmm. Now, come on. I don't have time for this. Listen, kid. Here we go. Yeah. Make sure everything's nice and snapped down. And then I just put our clamps back in. And astonishingly, I found the other two that I were missing. So when you install these, don't drop one in your engine bay or you will not find it again. When you install these, right here is a little indentation. Make sure you install that facing you out here in the engine bay. You don't want to install it backwards. These just go back in. Press the bottom part first and then press the top down. Just do it six times. Oh, and uh, while you're underneath here, don't forget to plug in your windshield wiper, fluid hose. Now we're done underneath the hood. Now we put our wipers back on. All right, now we put our wipers back on. Now when you put your wipers back on, make sure you put the right side on the right side. You know what I mean? Right side on the right side, left side on the left side. Look at your wipers, compare them. Make sure the bigger one goes on the driver's side. The smaller one goes on the passenger side. And there's a mark right here at the end of this wiper that's an alignment mark. You want to use that to realign your wipers when you put them back on. And of course, we're going to put some never seize on here. Just a dab. So we just use this to align. Ouch, you little son of a. She poopy. Nope. See, tube hag. That looks to be right. We put our nuts back on. And they go down to 18 foot pounds, I do believe. Oh, well. That's not going to work. And then you put the cap back on. So we're on the passenger side. Right here is the alignment mark that I'm going to use to align my passenger wiper arm. Oh, we're gonna fall. And as you lean across your hood, also be careful that you don't cave your hood in. There we go. With the sun beating down on me in the morning, what was I thinking when I decided to do this? And I don't know guys, can you help me out? From here I can't tell if I'm aligned or not. Uh, yeah, actually I think we're pretty good. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this concludes this video on if you have water on your passenger floor, clean out the cow drains. If you liked it, hit that button. But if you didn't like it, well, then you know what to do. And let me know in the comments, how many of you guys actually have experienced water on the floor? on the passenger side. Uh, me personally, I've had this flex for eight years and we had a brainstorm last night and that's the only time that I ever really experienced it. Also, don't forget to replace your air filter if you have one, because that's probably gonna be drenched and you don't want to be moldy. With that in mind, I'll see you guys in the next one. Enjoy your day.